Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb has stirred controversy again, suggesting that the interstellar visitor known as 3i Atlas might be more than just a rogue comet, perhaps even a piece of alien technology. For months, astronomers assumed this mysterious object would simply sweep past the orbit of Mars and vanish back into interstellar space, a harmless flyby. But fresh calculations from Harvard's team and independent analysts at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory tell a more unsettling story. Its orbit is not just following the laws of celestial mechanics. It appears to be changing in subtle but consistent ways, almost as if the object were aware of its environment. 3i Atlas was first spotted on July 1, 2025, cutting through the darkness from beyond the Oort cloud, a ghostly traveler from another star system. At first, astronomers celebrated the discovery, another rare chance to study an interstellar visitor, just like Oumuamua in 2017 and 2i Borisov in 2018-2019. But this one is different. Its trajectory is unusually precise, threading its way through the inner solar system on a path that seems almost deliberately aligned with planetary orbits. As it hurtles forward at nearly 87 kilometers per second relative to the Sun, the smallest gravitational nudges from Jupiter and Mars tweak its course. But so do sudden bursts of gas that are strangely periodic, like the rhythmic firing of thrusters. What should be a chaotic process? Ices sublimating into space as sunlight heats the surface is happening in perfect 17-minute intervals, producing micro-accelerations that steer it closer to Mars's orbital plane. NASA and ESA teams have observed that instead of stabilizing, its coma, the halo of gas surrounding the nucleus, has doubled in brightness and shows ultraviolet spikes no comet on record has ever produced. If natural, this is a once-in-a-lifetime event. If not, we might be witnessing the first object in history that is actively navigating our solar system. At its core, the most disturbing element of 3i Atlas is its speed. It is racing through the solar system at nearly 87 kilometers per second relative to the sun, faster than any natural object of its size we have ever tracked inbound from interstellar space. At that velocity, it crosses the Earth-Moon distance in under 80 minutes, a staggering pace for a comet-like body. Normally, such speed would imply a simple hyperbolic trajectory, in one side of the solar system, out the other, never to return. But 3i Atlas is defying expectations. With every hour that passes, its course appears to shift by microscopic amounts, not just from the predictable pull of gravity, but from something else. As though it were making micro-adjustments to its path. Cometary outgassing can alter a trajectory, yes, but what makes 3i Atlas unique is the precision of these changes. Instead of chaotic, sunlight-driven jets erupting at random locations on its surface, Scientists are observing pulse-like releases of gas at exact clockwork intervals, roughly every 17 minutes. Over the span of several days, these microbursts collectively nudge the object's trajectory closer to Mars's orbital plane, like a spacecraft performing mid-course correction burns. No known natural comet produces thrust with this level of regularity. If confirmed, this behavior would represent either a phenomenon unknown to cometary science or a controlled navigation system operating across interstellar distances. Adding to the mystery is its rapid brightening. Data from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and Earth-based telescopes show that 3i Atlas's coma has more than doubled in luminosity since August. But rather than stabilizing as the comet approaches the Sun, as is common with most comets, its outgassing rate has spiked unpredictably, particularly in ultraviolet wavelengths. Spectroscopic analysis reveals an unusually high concentration of carbon dioxide and complex organics, far beyond what is typical in solar system comets. This excessive CO2 venting would provide significantly more thrust than ordinary water vapor sublimation, and appears to be happening in controlled bursts, as if to adjust course deliberately. Some researchers, including Loeb's team, speculate that this may be a form of reactive propulsion, sublimated material expelled in a way that produces steering capability. In engineering terms, it would be the equivalent of reaction control thrusters, a known technology used in spacecraft navigation. 
This is where the line between natural and artificial begins to blur. Either we are witnessing the most active comet ever recorded, with outgassing events that just happen to mimic precise thrust vectors, or something about this object is inherently technological. The implications of such a discovery are staggering. If an object can travel from another star system and fine-tune its trajectory to pass close to Mars, it raises questions about intent. Is this a natural relic being sailing on sunlight by accident, or an engineered artifact using outgassing to home in on a target? NASA and ESO have now turned multiple deep space assets, including Goldstone Radar and the James Webb Space Telescope, toward 3I Atlas, hoping to capture high-resolution data before its September 2025 flyby. For planetary defense experts, this is no longer just an astronomical curiosity. If its trajectory continues tightening, even a slight additional boost could shift its path from a near miss to a direct encounter with the red planet, an event that could scar Mars for millennia and change how we think about our place in the universe. The most recent trajectory analysis now predicts that 3I Atlas will make its closest pass to Mars on September 26, 2025, just 1.95 million kilometers away. In cosmic terms, that's almost skimming the planet's gravitational well. For planetary scientists, this is already an astonishingly close approach for an interstellar object. But what makes this event unnerving is how precariously balanced the object's fate seems to be. According to simulations from Harvard's team and NASA's JPL, an additional velocity change of just 10 kilometers per second, less than the energy SpaceX's Starship uses to leave Earth's surface, would be enough to tilt its trajectory into a direct collision, and those course adjustments may already be happening, hidden in the comet's tail. The gas emissions coming from 3I Atlas are not the chaotic plumes we expect from a natural comet. Instead, astronomers are detecting 17-minute rhythmic pulses, perfectly consistent over days and always pointing in directions that nudge the object closer to Mars's orbital plane. The odds of this happening by chance are astronomically low, in ordinary comets, jets erupt when fresh patches of ice are exposed to sunlight, producing random, short-lived outbursts. But this, this is different. The timing is metronomic, the thrust vector precise. It is as though the object is firing maneuvering thrusters, performing a sequence of tiny course corrections. If this continues through September, the projected missed distance could shrink to less than 50,000 kilometers closer than some of Mars's moons. And that proximity is where things turn from extraordinary to potentially catastrophic. At such a range, Mars's gravity could capture debris, pull ejecta into orbit, or, even we, in the worst case, pull the entire object into a descending path. With a mass estimated near 10 billion tons and a core perhaps 400 meters across, a direct strike would deliver an impact energy equivalent to millions of megatons of TNT. Planetary impact models suggest the resulting crater could be more than 60 kilometers wide and several kilometers deep, vaporizing surface rock, throwing dust high into the Martian atmosphere, and possibly ejecting fragments into interplanetary space. Some of those fragments could cross Earth's orbit within decades, posing a secondary hazard. This is not just a planetary science issue, it's a planetary defense scenario. Inside NASA, according to leaked internal memos, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has already been repurposed as a forward radar platform to track the inbound object, while Goldstone's Deep Space Network has been bouncing radar signals off its core to map its structure. Early radar echoes, insiders say, are not what anyone expected. They appear to reflect a hard, metallic interior, not the diffuse, icy nucleus of a normal comet. Some planetary scientists are now seriously considering whether 3I Atlas is a composite object, a dense core surrounded by a sacrificial shell of ice, perhaps intentionally disguised to look like a comet until it nears its destination. If that sounds like science fiction, it's worth remembering that this is not the first time humanity has seen an interstellar object act strangely. Umumwa's unexplained acceleration in 2017 led some researchers, including Avi Loeb, to argue that it could have been a light sail or probe from another civilization. 3I Atlas, however, is not just drifting. It appears to be actively navigating, aligning itself with a planetary target. 
Whether natural or engineered, this is the most closely watched celestial encounter of the decade. And as we approach September, the question is no longer just whether it will hit Mars, but whether we are witnessing the first deliberate message from beyond the stars. If 3i Atlas were to strike Mars, the outcome would be unlike anything humanity has witnessed in real time. A direct collision would unleash an energy release measured in millions of megatons of TNT, thousands of times more powerful than the largest nuclear detonation ever conducted on Earth. Impact simulations suggest the resulting blast would gouge a 60-kilometer wide crater and throw debris high into the thin Martian atmosphere. Vast clouds of dust could encircle the planet, triggering a global impact winter that could last for years, darkening the surface, altering wind patterns, and plunging already frigid temperatures even lower. Such an event would not just scar the planet, it would endanger decades of human investment. Orbiters like the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, EMS, AA, V, E, N, and ESA's Trace Gas Orbiter, all crucial for relaying signals and mapping the Martian surface, could be destroyed by high velocity ejecta or knocked offline by charged particle storms. Rovers such as Perseverance and Curiosity might be buried under a rain of fine dust. Even missions still in planning including sample return landers, could be rendered impossible if Mars is blanketed by global fallout. For scientists, this would represent not just a tragedy, but a generational setback, wiping out decades of accumulated data and carefully positioned hardware. And yet, the nature of the object itself might be the bigger story. Radar reflections from Goldstone have returned hard, metallic echoes, not the soft scatter one would expect from an icy comet nucleus. That means 3i Atlas may not be just frozen debris. It might have a dense, possibly metallic interior. Some analysts have gone further, arguing that this could be a deliberate shell of ice encasing a technological payload designed to survive interstellar travel and remain stable until it reaches a planetary target. The idea seems radical, but Avi Loeb's team has published peer-reviewed work suggesting that natural explanations are increasingly strained. No comet we have ever observed vents gas in perfectly timed pulses over multiple days, with thrust vectors that just happen to align with a planetary encounter. If this hypothesis holds, we may be witnessing something more than a celestial accident, a deliberate event, perhaps an interstellar probe performing a flyby, or even a planetary delivery mission. Was it launched millions of years ago, drifting through interstellar space until its autopilot brought it here? Or is it still under active control, reacting in real time to gravitational fields, sunlight, and even human observation? For now, we can only watch. Every major observatory on Earth and in space, including the James Webb Space Telescope, is now locked on 3i Atlas, waiting to see what happens next. The closer it gets, the more we realize this object is not simply passing by. It is aiming, adjusting, and perhaps preparing for impact. Perhaps the most unsettling revelation comes from Mars itself. Data from ESA's Mars Express and archived images from NASA's MRO have shown three faint glinting objects in high orbit above Mars, arranged in what appears to be a triangular formation. At first, mission teams dismiss these as cosmic ray hits on the camera sensors or stray reflections from debris. But follow-up passes showed the objects in the exact same positions over three consecutive orbits, something random noise could not explain. This has fueled speculation that 3i Atlas may not be alone, that it could have already released scout probes or pre-deployed instruments to monitor its final approach. If that's true, then the implications are staggering. We could be witnessing a two-stage mission from beyond our solar system an interstellar craft first placing reconnaissance hardware into Martian orbit, then adjusting its own trajectory for a near miss or impact. Loeb and his student, Adam Hibbard, have even suggested that a controlled crash could be a way to deliberately seed Mars with detectable isotopes or engineered materials, effectively turning the red planet into a giant cosmic message board for anyone advanced enough to notice. The idea might sound like science fiction, until you consider that the object is already behaving like a spacecraft, 
pulsing its gas jets like reaction thrusters and steering with eerie precision toward its target. This is why September 19th to 30, 2025, is now considered the most critical window. During this period, 3I Atlas will perform its final course corrections. Its relative speed to Mars will be a staggering 57 kilometers per second, meaning even a glancing strike could vaporize cubic kilometers of rock. Small changes in thrust during this time could decide whether it merely brushes past Mars or collides head-on, and the world is taking notice. Behind closed doors, space agencies have convened quiet emergency sessions. ESA, CNSA, JAXA, and Roscosmos have formed joint task forces to model worst-case scenarios. Some defense analysts are even debating the once unthinkable question, should humanity intercept or destroy an interstellar object before it reaches another planet? The debate is fierce. On one side, planetary defense advocates argue that allowing an unknown, possibly technological object to strike Mars uncontrolled would be reckless, that we should at least attempt to alter its path, or in an extreme case, break it apart with a kinetic interceptor. On the other, scientists warn that tampering with 3I Atlas might be dangerous. If it is artificial, any interference could be seen as hostile. And if it's natural, attempting to deflect it might erase the most important scientific event of the century. This is more than a question of astronomy. It is a question of how humanity responds to the unknown, with fear, aggression, or curiosity. By mid-September, every major observatory, from Hubble to the James Webb Space Telescope, will be locked on 3I Atlas. If its pulses continue, if its trajectory tightens, and if its shadow crosses that last thin sliver of space, separating a flyby from an impact, then Mars may soon witness an event not seen since the great bombardments of the early solar system. For scientists, it will be the discovery of a lifetime. For everyone else, it may feel like a cosmic message, a sign that we are not alone. So, as this story unfolds, we have to ask ourselves, is 3I Atlas just a comet on a strange trajectory, or is it something far more deliberate, a messenger, a probe, a test? If you've made it this far, you're one of the few paying attention. What do you think? Are we about to witness a natural cosmic accident or first contact by impact? If you want to stay ahead of this story, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it with someone who needs to know what's happening. The countdown to September has already begun. And soon, the red planet may reveal whether we are truly alone in the universe.